another thing I wanted to go over with the kitchen is um, the measurements. I, I see a lot of uh, tiny house builds and tiny house shows um, boasting about the full-size appliances in the kitchen. And it, again, you know, that's fine if what they, that's what they want. You know, and I can understand, um, you know, if you're way out in the country, you want to stock your fridge or whatever as full as you can because you don't want to be driving to town all the time. We don't either. Um, but if, for instance, if this was a 36-inch fridge cabinet, that's an extra six inches out of the kitchen space. If this is your standard 36-inch sink cabinet, that's another foot. So you've got 18 inches there that you've lost um, by putting in a huge sink like a farmhouse sink or, or a normal 36-inch uh, sink cabinet. And then another six inches if you put in a standard 30-inch size, ra 30 inch size range. So that is uh, six inches a foot, um, two feet of space you've lost. So basically you've lost two banks of the drawers and that leaves you with one little bank of drawers. So that would leave you with one shallow drawer in the top. I, I don't know how, again, I don't know how anybody um, could survive in a kitchen like that, like with one kitchen drawer. Oddly enough, my mother's um, old home in Ontario, uh, the kitchen was the same when I cleaned it out uh, in 2018 when she had to go in a nursing home. It had one broken drawer and it still had one broken drawer when I cleaned it out. She lived in it almost 50 years. The kitchen was just a nightmare. Um, but these days, like for a, a modern kitchen to have one drawer, <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Um, so by putting full size appliances in this kitchen, I would literally have one drawer and, and one bank of drawers, but one shallow drawer. There's absolutely no way I could fit anything in there. Um, so yeah, again, it's a difference of opinion if that's what you want to do. Um, I find, like I said, this range uh, cooks as well as my um, commercial oven that I had in my bake shop. So I couldn't be happier with it. It is not a convection. So some of the cookie sheets that would not fit in my huge uh, commercial range fit in this one. It's crazy but it's because it doesn't have that fan at the back. Now the one I just ordered um, for my tiny house does have the convection. So those particular cookie sheets won't fit in there. That's no big deal. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, um, Chris pointed out that this one doesn't have, doesn't use electricity at the back. Uh, mine has a light in the oven and the convection. So it will have to have, he will have to put an electrical outlet behind the stove. So those are little things, again, you need to get the specs for the appliances you choose and, and put power in where it's going to be needed. Again, those are the kind of technical things. I'm the designer. Uh, I just expect the contractor to get, <laughs> to put in. I mean, you know. We've known each other for 45 years. He should be able to read my mind. I can certainly read his mind most of the time. Um, so yeah, but you, all joking aside, you need to make sure, you know, you don't want to get your range delivered and go to put it in place and find out there's no electrical plug behind there. You've had the spray foam on, the wood is on the walls, everything else. So um, again, just planning. Um, and, and again, knowing in advance what uh, appliances you're going to use. And, and having the power in there. Now I made a joke about um, holding my breath till I get the uh, princess incinerator toilet. Well again, um, you're gonna have to make sure there's power behind the toilet, which ordinarily there is never power behind the toilet. Uh, the same with if you wanted to put a towel warmer in the bathroom, you're gonna need electrical uh, where you don't normally need electrical in a kitchen, in a bathroom. So um, those are just things to think about. I have uh, coveted a towel warmer as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how posh the bathroom gets. Um, so again, just wanted to mention that because to me, uh, the trade-off, uh, having the storage instead of full-size appliances is just amazing. And um, yeah, I just I just don't know how you could survive without all of the drawers that we have in this little kitchen. I think for such a tiny kitchen, it is a, a really well um, designed kitchen, <laughs> aside from the fact that I designed it. But because, you know, it's been lived in long enough, um, 
that. Now, when I when I came here, you know, Chris had canned food down with the pots and stuff, canned food mixed with pasta and spices, and it was so disorganized. So, of course, I had to do my thing. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, when I move into mine, that'll be nice. He's got it nice and organized, you know, where everything is. I actually am so OCD about my kitchen that uh, I l like to say that if I was blindfolded, I could find anything in my kitchen. So that's the way I like it. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, I just wanted to include a little uh, addendum to the kitchen video because I just, I just think it's so important. Um, not only having the storage space, uh, you still have appliances that are amazing for a small space. And basically, a lot of these appliances became popular because of the city, not the country, the people living in the country. It was the all of the um, the tiny apartments and tiny condos and tiny spaces being rented in so many of the big cities across the country. Uh, you just like if you again like this kitchen. If you have full size appliances, there is no kitchen. There's no room for kitchen. There's no countertop. There's no nothing. So to me, this is an awesome trade off. I don't miss full size appliances at all. Um, the fridge a little bit, but again, we have um, the, the full-size freezers out in the utility in the storage area, and I will have uh, mine. I'll be able to move mine into my storage room when I get mine done, and that will free up a little bit of space in Chris's 20-footer that he never meant for it to be that packed full, but of course all the food that I had and that he had stocked up on that couldn't be frozen had to get jammed in there, and that's what we did. And then we jammed a washer and dryer in there, so yeah, lots of jamming. But um, anyway, I hope this helps a lot, and again, you know, if you have any questions or comments, um, I don't mind sharing the measurements, numbers, you know, any information I have. I just love doing this and any help I can uh, give to anybody. And, and like I said, if you have any comments, um, if they're negative, they'll just be ignored. Um, but yeah, uh, any comments or, or advice, well, I'm happy to have it, happy to hear it. So we'll see you next time. So basically, with all of those measurements that I was um, talking about, you're going to take away, um, I've got three 15 inch drawers, so if you take 24 inches away from that, away from um, 45 inches, you have, what is that, 24 inches left? No, 21 inches left. So first of all, um, you can't split that into two 12s. Um, the drawers, the IKEA cabinets don't come in 12 inch drawers. You can get a pull out or a, a cabinet with shelves which is absolutely useless. Um, or you could put one set of 24 inch drawers between the fridge and stove because you can't have those beside each other. So that would mean you would end up with your sink right beside your fridge and no counter space there. Um, so you would simply have one uh, two foot piece of counter space in between your sink and stove. Uh, no, you, the sto one side of the stove would be up against the wall, which drives me bananas, and the sink up against the fridge gable, which would make me lose my mind. So, and one 24 inch um, piece of counter space in the whole kitchen, other than the shallow side. Um, so, again, yeah, full size appliances, not possible in most kitchens. And um, I certainly would never opt for that over the amount of drawer space that I've got. You take away 24 inches of drawer space from 45 inches. Uh, you got 21. No, you can't even get a 20. No, you can't get a 24 in there. 21. So I think the drawers do come in 21 at Ikea, not 12s. So again, not even a two foot piece of counter space in the whole kitchen. I would lose my mind. <laughs> Some would argue that I did a long time ago. But anyway, I hope this helps because um, I think it's really important information. And again, you know, this is for people like ourselves trying to do this on a shoestring budget. You know, putting them together yourself, installing them yourself, um, you know, buying a fairly inexpensive cabinet and getting as much storage space as you possibly can. Um, so those measurements 
are incredibly important. You know, between that and then going all the way to the ceiling with the 40 inch cabinets rather than 30s, you gain a lot of space in this little tiny kitchen. And it's a workable kitchen. It's a small triangle, like I said, and it's, um, it's livable. It's very livable. And that's the important thing. So anyway, have a nice day, guys. We'll see you soon.